Hey guys, so it is Birch Box time again. Um, this is September 2011 Birch Box, and um, if you want to see what I thought of August's Birch Box, my month long review will be at the end of this video. So, um, this month's Birch Box is dedicated to its viewers, and it says this month is a little, little different. We're celebrating you. We started Birchbox a year ago with the goal of helping women discover the best in beauty. Hundreds of thousands box later, boxes later, we'd like to say, thank you, uh, say a big thank you to all our members, newbies, and first adopters alike. We never imagined that it would grow this fast or learn this much. Thank you from the bottom of our eyeliner loving hearts. So it's Birchbox's year anniversary and so it's kind of like a member appreciation month which is really kind of cute and they of course have their little design on the side and this month it's kind of like looks like pink glitter in a way so that's really cute and um yeah so let's go ahead and get started the first thing in my box is the ink coco ink coco i think is how you would say um nail strips and my nail strips whoop, are this really pretty aqua blue glitter. Those are gorgeous. I was a little worried because I'm going to admit I cheated this month. I went out and I saw others' birch box videos. Um, I cheated a lot. And I'm sorry because I shouldn't have. But um, I was worried because all the other girls were getting like animal prints which are so not anything I will ever wear so I'm really excited that these are just really pretty aqua glitter because I will definitely wear these and I haven't tried nail strips so um I kind of was debating the Sally Hansen ones but they're kind of expensive and I'm not really sure how they work so I'm excited to try these and see if I like them um and let's see it says adventurous in cocoa nail polish applique we all love or uh, we all have a wild side nail strips are the latest trends try them on your fingers or toes so for 16 strips it sells for $7.99 um so for the 12 strips i received it's six dollars which is not a bad deal at all um it almost pays for your birch box altogether um and the next thing i have is this and i'm gonna butcher it i think it's jerleaky jerleak Jorlik. Um, it's called Take Hard, Take Charge. Get ahead of the anti-aging game with Jorik's luxurious moisturizer, <laughs> spurs collagen production, and new cells to keep skin healthy and youthful. Hmm. I just want to feel what it feels like. It's it's really it makes your skin really soft. Hmm. I'll have to try that and let you guys know how how it goes. I might like that. Hmm. It's a good moisturizer, if nothing else. Um, and then in my little pouch, the card says, What is your beauty personality? Um, tell us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And on the back, it says, Don't forget to give feedback on your samples to earn your birch box points. So the first thing in the tissue that I have is the, if I put it the right way, it's the Jor um, Practical Lip Enhancer. Why settle for plain old lip balm when you can hydrate, plump, and condition all in one go? Right? We thought so. Um, so this is actually for 0.33 fluid ounces is $14. So this being, let's see, 0 0.07, this is worth about $2.90. I have lip gloss on, but. That feels so nice. Like, it really moisturizes your lips really well. Hmm. 
I really like this. This will be perfect for my purse. All right, so the next thing I have is this um, Color Science Pro, and it says Minimalistic Color Science Pro, Sun Forgettable Miner pow Mineral Powder, SPF 30 and Medium. Who has time for multi-step AM routine? A mineral sunscreen that even and mattifies skin means more time for coffee. Plus, it lasts all day. Wow, I'm really excited about this. I am always on the hunt for great like foundation and um, products, and this is actually like a really good sample size. Um, and it looks like it would be a pretty, pretty close match to my skin tone because I'm usually light to medium so I will have to let you all know I'm like really excited about that um, and for 0 0.21 ounces it's $28 so this is 0 0.05 which this is worth about six dollars and seventy cents or so um, I'm so excited and this is definitely not what I saw the other girls on YouTube have in their birch box so this is really a good like fun variety because it's still a surprise because none of the other girls I saw got this they um I can't rem I know that they got the Dior lip plumper I don't know they'll have to go search for the birch boxes and see what you find the next thing I got is this um perfume hmm Adamo I think I need to take French so that I can tell you what all these say because I think that's in French. Um, it says <laughs> classic Salvatore Fermango <laughs> perfume. The designer, be uh, the designer's latest scent taps into the sophisticated side with a delicate peony and jasmine scent. So you get a little bottle. It's about this big. That's a good size, and it has one of those little sprayers, so it's not a rollerball, but it's a spray. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. And actually, it reminds me a lot of Giorgio. I don't know if you guys know that perfume, but like a lot of women in my family wear it, and this smells so good. That's definitely 100% going into my purse and it's natural spray so I'm assuming it's organic that's so cool anyways guys I'm really happy with this month's birch box to be honest after last month I was really debating canceling my birch box subscription um I just felt like last month really fell short of what I think birch box standard is um I received a lot of products that not only wouldn't did not work but also just were things I would never use um, the first thing that I received was the Pangea Organics face wash, and I'm sorry I don't have the products in front of me because most of them I either gave away or threw away over the month. Um, the Pangea Organics face wash, I, the month prior, I had had the Philosophy by, um, Purity by Philosophy, sorry, um, and I actually ended up ordering a full-size bottle of that because I loved it so much. So then sending me another facial cleanser a second month in a row that smelled really horribly, it smelled gross. It just really did. And I don't mean to be mean because someone may have loved that scent, but it was totally just not for me at all. And um, it didn't work very well. It really kind of irritated my skin. And so I actually had to go buy a facial cleanser um, while waiting for the philosophy to come. Um, so it definitely just wasn't for me. And then the second thing I got was the Way um, iPads. And if you remember my opening video, I was really excited to try those. Well, the problem was is that they didn't do anything. While they were on, they made my eyes feel really, like, nice and kind of just refreshed and um they kind of were a really relaxing scent but when i took them off they didn't do anything my eyes were just as puffy i still had the dark under eye circles it really just didn't do anything and i know that those pads were like 60 dollars for 10 of them and i would never buy a product that doesn't work for 60 dollars um and 
then let's see the other product I received was the blink eyeliner and I said in my opening video that I couldn't really review this product because I have a disposition and hatred towards liquid liners um, well I will say that this was had a easier applicator and was a little bit easier to apply it still is extremely liquid and when you put it on you have to not move your eyelid for 30 seconds in order to let it dry and my eyes bat a lot so that really didn't work and it smeared and it looked messy and then I couldn't get it off because it's supposed to be like long wearing and lasting but it dried too quick to fix and not quick enough not to mess up so that was a miss as well and then the last thing was the Carol's Daughters Manoil um, Oil Hair Mask two things I really didn't like about it first of all on the product all it said was to leave in your hair for five to seven minutes and rinse out so I had no idea because I have never used a hair mask whether or not I needed to use it prior to washing my hair or after washing my hair like a leave-in conditioner it was really just confusing so I had to go out on the internet and search and look for the product directions so that was a miss as well and then secondly I couldn't find information on whether or not it would ruin my colored hair um, so I took a chance hoping that it wouldn't and I did use it and then I spent the next three days trying to get the oil out of my hair. It really left my hair extremely greasy and just never again will I use that product in my hair. Um, and I'm not sure if I would um, ever use any hair mask because I've never felt like I needed one. My hair is always really healthy um, despite the coloring I do because I don't blow dry flat and I flat iron or curl my hair almost ever and so I feel like my hair is really healthy anyways and I just felt like that mask made it unhealthy um and then of course the little treat that you got last month in your birch box was a twist tie headband and you guys all know how I felt about that so I won't go into that um oh but speaking of treats at the bottom here I forgot to talk about this because I was waiting for last this is the treat you get this month and this is really cute it's a little pink friendship bracelet and it has the silver box for birch box on it and it says it's been a year and we couldn't have done it without you thank you wear this friendship bracelet as a reminder that there is beauty in discovery and delight in anticipation here's to the many more beautiful filled months and that's really cute so all in all, even though I was extremely dissatisfied with last month's birch box, I will continue to receive it for a couple more months because um, honestly I like getting things in the mail and it's kind of just a fun adventure every month to see what you're going to get. And even though some months I'm really disappointed, other months like this month I'm so excited and I really hope these products really live up to my anticipation because um, there are definitely some really great ones in here. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.